am here at Limberlost at the Hickory Lake Trail. It's uh, just over two kilometers, I believe, a loop, and um, I've never done it before, so I'm gonna go check it out and have some lunch. Well, I'm just starting the Hickory Lake Loop, and um, snow's packed down pretty good. Um, I wear my yak tracks or ice cleats or whatever you guys wanna call them. I found out there's a whole bunch of different names for them. Um, and the trail is packed down pretty good, so should be okay. I am on my way. Uh, it's Friday, March 5th. Got a birthday coming up in a couple of days. And, um, I am in Huntsville right now. Uh, I have a Hyundai and um, it is under warranty. And um, I had an issue with my starter on Tuesday. My car wouldn't start. So um, I had to get it replaced. So I had to come to Huntsville uh, from where I live. It's not very far um, to get the starter replaced. So I figured since I was already in Huntsville, I might as well pop by Limberlost and go for a little hike. I brought some lunch with me because I figured I was going to be at the dealership most of the morning, which I was, and um, I'm super excited to try it. I have an OTG meal for lunch. It is shepherd's pie and uh, it's supposed to be really, really good. So I'm stoked to try it. I'm just gonna hike until I find a good spot and then I will stop for lunch. Really pretty out. It's nice and sunny today. These blue skies and uh, the snow is a little bit unstable, but it's not too bad. Look at that nice sign. There's so many great signs here. I love them. They're so pretty. Look at that. Hickory Trail. That's me. Well, since I passed the turn off to go towards the Buck Lake Trail, I have noticed that, except for some fresh animal tracks, there are no new people tracks. Uh, thankfully, the snow is still um, in pretty good shape and I'm not post holing, which is great. So, if you don't know what I meant by post holing, here's a good example. Um, post holing happens when the snow is really deep and it starts getting warmer out and then it starts melting and you take a step and you end up going way down through the snow. And it's really hard to walk when you're post holing because you don't know if your step is going to be long or short and it's really hard on your knees in your hips and your body. So I do not love post holing. I hate it. Um, I haven't done it yet, so I'm quite happy. But uh, I almost went back to the car and got the snowshoes, and I think I should have. But uh, I'm not going back now. <laughs> oh, look at this pretty spot. How cute. There's a little bridge. Oh, there's some animals I've been walking through here. Let's see how it goes down. Look at there's like a creek or something here. Oh, this is beautiful. I think this is a great spot to have my lunch. Just need to find a place to sit. And again, it's hard to get off the trail because as soon as you do, you sink. Very badly. Hopefully I don't sink going over the bridge. There's some great tracks. Oh, this looks so neat. Really pretty. Oh, I even found a little bit of water. Not much. It was feels like minus 23 when I got up this morning, so it's still pretty chilly, but we've had a few uh, a few weeks now, two weeks now with a bit warmer weather. Um, so things have started to melt, but then it got cold again and kind of quickly froze up once again, so. We're starting to go up a hill here. And uh, there's some nice rocks. 
with some icicles hanging off of them. It's really pretty. Oh, they get prettier. Look at that. I'm not even going to attempt to get over there. Um, people, people were post holing on the trail that I'm on now. Um, where I'm walking, it doesn't seem to be sinking, but um, it's getting harder to avoid their footsteps and uh, not sink. So hopefully <laughs> it gets better. Should have worn my snowshoes. Live and learn. Oh, as I'm walking along here, the trail goes that way, but there's a little side trail that goes this way, and I think it goes to the lake. So I'm gonna take it and see if it might be a good spot for me to make my lunch. Some rabbit tracks out here, chipmunks and squirrels. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Not too bad. Just a little sink. Cool. Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> Isn't that nice? All right, so I think I'm going to set up right here. Um, just in this little spot. Like I said, there aren't any cars here. There's nobody on the trail. And plus, I'm on a side trail. I'm not on the main trail, so should be fine. All I need to do is boil some water. I need a cup and a half of water for the shepherd's pie, and then it needs 15 minutes to rehydrate. And uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm also going to boil enough water to make a nice hot chocolate, and uh, I can sip on that while I'm waiting and enjoy my beautiful view of the lake. What's for lunch, you ask? Well, I kind of already spoiled that, didn't I? <laughs> But well, that's okay. Uh, so, the other day I got a shipment of some stuff from Randy at OTG Meals, and he sent me this shepherd's pie. I love the OTG Meals meals um, because they're really good. They're very fresh. Um, they're recently made, and they're single serving packages. Uh, another thing that I really love is the labels that he puts on the back of them with the directions are nice and big so I don't have to worry about trying to find my glasses to read them. Remove oxygen pack, add one and a half cups boiling water, stir and seal pouch. Step three, let sit for 12 to 15 minutes. Step four, open and enjoy. Doesn't get much easier than that. So I'm gonna get the water boiling first. It takes about three minutes if that to boil water in my uh, with my um, Mighty Mo Jet Boil. Really good little stove, I love it. Just brought my little canister, I don't need much. I just need to boil the water for three minutes. Well, not boil the water for three minutes, it takes three minutes to get it to boil, so. All right, here's my cup. My little pot here. My cup has measurements on it. It says one and a half cups to the top. Perfect. So this is how much water I need for the meal. I see a hair floating around. My hair is everywhere. It's awful. So that is for the shepherd's pie. And then this one is going to be for my hot chocolate. Good to go. I haven't used my stove in a while. Hopefully the igniter works, but I do have a lighter with me just in case. Oh yeah, it's lit and going good. All right, just wait a couple of minutes for that to boil. In the meantime, my little package of hot chocolate mix. This is the mochaccino chocolate, and this is from my friend Shirley. She gave this to me when we went on a trip a couple years ago. And I uh, just found the last one in the back of my closet, so super convenient. Let's put that in there. Let's open this up. Take out the little oxygen pack. Let's see if I can get the camera over there and I'll uh, take a little clip of this so you can see what it looks like. But, I mean, it's like a bunch of dried food. <laughs> the OTG meal. Nice. 
All right, water's almost boiling, so I'll set the camera up. I'll move it back a bit, so hopefully I can catch everything. When I'm hiking, uh, the first thing that gets warm are my hands, so I take off my gloves. But now that I've stopped for a few minutes, my hands are very, very cold. It's pretty chilly out. It's uh, minus seven, feels like minus 14. Um, so even though the sun is shining, the wind is very cold. Like I said, it's a little bit sheltered here, but it's still pretty chilly out. Okay, water is just about boiling. It's probably not that great that the fuel is sitting right in the snow, but that's the way it works right now. Wow, that's a big tree. Wow. Come on, water. All right, it's boiling. I'm gonna take out the water for my hot chocolate so that I can get it a little bit, boiling a little bit better for the rest. There's less water in it than faster. All right, I'll put that in there. Oh, it's going to be good. Mm, it smells delicious. Okay, in we go. I love these little pouches, the way they make them. They stand up pretty much by themselves, so you don't have to worry about holding them. Okay, water's in there. Just put that down for a second so I can turn off my stove. That mix it up really good. It says to stir it. Oh, there's big chunks of beef in here and potato. There's corn and peas. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I wish you could smell it. Oh, it looks kind of like muddy mush. Oh, it smells delicious. Right, let's mix it up really good. I want to close it up like so it stays nice and hot. I'm also going to take it out of the snow. Well, just give it a try. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's good. Whoa, hey. Easy hot chocolate. All right, seal this up. Set my timer. And now we wait. I'll put it in my backpack so it stays nice and warm. Mmm, I can't wait to eat this. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be delicious. It tastes really good from just that little try I had. Okay, put all this stuff away and wait. <laughs> Still not all the way down. I'm probably still on this much snow, so it's a lot of snow still here. Uh. All right, should be just about time. I can't wait, I'm so hungry. All right, it's time. I'm so hungry. Well, it's nice and warm. Just put it inside my jacket. All right. Let's see what the situation is. I got my spoon out. I cleaned off my hot chocolate spoon because it's bigger than the other one. Okay, so it doesn't look very nice, let me tell you. Um, I can probably scoop some out and leave it on the spoon and you can see it really well. <laughs> it's very, um, it looks like brown mud or mush, but it smells amazing. I'm gonna try some right now. I don't know how hot it is. Oh, it's good. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so good. Got some nice bright yellow pieces of corn in it and some carrots and some peas. And then the potatoes and the gravy and the meat are all mixed in together. Oh, and it's seasoned really nicely too, but it's not spicy. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this now like a champ. <laughs> oh, it's hitting the spot. The corn, just like 
crunched in my mouth like not like it wasn't cooked crunched like when you eat a fresh piece of corn and it like crunches and pops oh, it's so it's so fresh tasting it tastes like someone just made this like from scratch mm. unbelievable all right i will uh see you in a minute a few minutes i'm gonna eat this and then uh i'll continue on with the hike <laughs> bon appetit Oh, well done, OTG. Oh, I did my best, but I couldn't eat it all. There's a lot in here. Um, it's great for a single size, and again, it's lunch. Um, if I was out canoe tripping, I would probably be able to finish this all, um, but it's a nice size. Oh, I really, really enjoyed it. But I am very cold sitting here in the snow, so I'm going to finish my hike now. All right, it is 2.30. I got a nice full belly, a chocolate, shepherd's pie. Oh, and that sun feels so good. Somebody was sliding along in the snow. <laughs> cool. Uh, I sunk a couple of times, I think three times now I've gone down, but that's it, so not too bad. I'm going to keep moving in the same direction I've been going. some big trees out here. Woo! Gotta keep watching where I'm walking. <laughs> See, I just went down again. This last little stretch, um, there was a turnoff where the road was. You go to the road or you could just keep going down the trail and ever since that section I have been post holing like crazy probably done it like five times in the last five minutes and it's really uncomfortable <laughs> um, so I'm glad I'm almost back to where I started <laughs> well someone else must be on the trail because when I went over this bridge there was just a little hole there now there's all of these. So I'm really careful. It's all come down. Well, it's going on three o'clock, and uh, I've got about 50 feet or so left of the trail to go. So I thought I'd do a quick recap. Um, Hickory Lake Trail, really great little trail. Uh, I loved it. Um, it was cute. There was nobody else here. Um, you know, the post tolling is a bit annoying. If you guys are going out right now and you know you're going to an area where there's been a lot of snow, please take your time. Wear the proper footwear. Do up your boots, all that stuff. Um, post tolling is really hard on the knees, the hips, and the ankles. Um, so just take your time and uh, that way you can avoid having any issues. Um, we don't really want to have any of those right now. Um, unfortunately, I'm still not out camping. Um, we're on lockdown here in Muskoka um, because we're in the same area as Barrie, which is like an hour away from me, but um, such is life, you know. Um, I've actually been working on a really big project uh, for the last few months, and uh, I'm hoping to finish that in the next month or two. So um, in between doing that, I've been making some cooking videos and the hiking videos that you guys are watching, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we get to go camping very soon. Um, really, really delicious lunch today. Uh, that OTG meal, that shepherd's pie, is probably one of the best OTG meals I've had so far. Um, and that's saying a lot because he makes some really good stuff. Um, if you're looking for some single serving, um, excellent 
backcountry food, uh, camping food, or wherever you're going that you might need a meal like that, um, check out his website. He's got some great stuff and he's selling out really fast and um, I can see why because the meals are just fantastic. Everything that I've had from him so far has been really, really good. Um, but this meal, he just keeps getting better and better it seems. So um, check that out. I'll put a link to his website in the description below. And um, that's about it for now. Stay safe everyone and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.